we'll guide you through how to make someone a server admin on your Minecraft server hosting provider. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, we'll show you how you can make yourself an admin, and then we'll show you how you can make other people an admin. So let's get started. We'll be using Apex Hosting in this video, but you can still follow along if you do use another host. But if you're yet to get a Minecraft server and a host, then definitely check out Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. And thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They've got one click and store mod packs, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it, um, ultra low latency and so many other awesome features as well. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the pinned comments and the description. But once you've got your server, then you can come to your panel or maybe use a different host to go to that panel there. And what we need to do is go to the console. So in Apex, all you need to do is go over to the left and go and press on console and then come down to the command line. And then what you need to do to go and make yourself an admin we'll start off with is type in OP and then your name. So then we can type in my name, which is guide realm, just like so and hit enter and send the command. And it will then say made guide realm a server operator and server operator and admin are interchangeable names. So you've now gone and made yourself an admin or server operator, but you probably want to go and make other people as well. So what you can do is then go and type in their username here. So what I could do is type in OP and type in not, for example, like so. And then we'll go and get the response saying made not your server operator. But you may want to be in a game and make maybe your friend an admin or a server operator. And you can do that in game. But you firstly need to be a server operator admin yourself, which is why I like to do that firstly, because now that you're an operator and an admin, it means you can do commands in the game without having to come to your console every time. For example, here we are back in the game. So go and open up the chat by pressing T and you'll also see that we were made a server operator in the chat. And all you need to do is type in slash OP and then go and type in the name. So you could go and type in whoever you want. Um, I could go and type in Steve, for example, just as an example, and it will then say made Steve a server operator. And then you get all those benefits which come along with being an operator and an admin, like changing the game mode, giving things, teleporting, so many awesome uh, commands you can use, which I'll show you in just a moment. But if it gets to the point where you want to go and remove somebody from being a server operator or an admin, maybe they're abusing that privilege or you just don't trust them anymore, then all you need to do is open up the chat again and then go and type in slash and type in D-O-P, so D-E-O-P, and then type in the name. So I can go and type in notch, for example, and it will then say made notch no longer a server operator. And you can remove OP and admin from the server console itself as well. All you need to do is type in DEOP and then type in the name, for example, Steve, just like this. And it will then say made Steve no longer a server operator. But now that you are an operator and an admin, you're probably interested in some of the commands you can use. So let's go to the top left and click on back. And on Apex, they actually give you a load of commands you can go and use. So head over to the left and click on commands. And you can then see all of these different commands here and it'll be telling you how you can use them on the right hand side. For example, we could go and teleport somebody or ourselves somewhere. So if we go over to the right, that says TP, which means that's the command we need to use. So let's go back to Minecraft. And you can open up the chat by pressing T and then type in slash TP. And now you can go and type in the person you want to teleport, whether it be yourself or another player who's in the game. I'll type in guide realm, which is myself. And then you can go and type in where you want to teleport them to. And you'll then need to type in the coordinates in X, Y, and Z. So if you didn't know X and Z are sort of the length and width of the world, and then Y is the depth. So let's say I want it to be 11 by 100 by 11 like that. I can press enter and I'll then be teleported here. It's that simple. And there are so many other awesome commands you can use as I was showing you. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then check out Apex Hosting. I'll put a link to them in the description and the pinned comment. We really appreciate you watching the video. Have an awesome day. Peace.